So, hey friends and family. Um, it's been a while since I've made a video. And, uh, 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 I don't know if I need to apologize for that or what, but, um, we've been going through some things and, uh, where some people, when they're miserable, they want to be around other people. Um, y you know, they, I guess they, they're part of that saying, well, misery loves company. Um, I'm not like that. Um, when I'm going through hard times, I have a tendency to withdraw. And, um, I, I don't like to be around other people because there's, there's no shortage of dumbasses who are inconsiderate and thoughtless and will say something to you like, Oh, I'll pray for you. Um, <laughs> when they know it's not going to do a damn thing for you, they know it's not going to help you. It's not the type of help you need. Um, <laughs> you, you know, you might as well <laughs> tell me, um, Hey, lay down here while I take a crap on you. Um, <laughs> it's, it's, it, doesn't, it sounds just the same. Um, you know, uh, car problems, of course. Um, the Buick transmission that should have been fixed um, was not fixed. Uh, they basically just robbed me and um, it's not really anything I can do about it. Um, the technical owner of this shop was trying to retire and uh, I I'm not sure if the young man he was trying to leave it to was his son or his grandson but he ran it into the ground. So I'm not the only person that got ripped off by this child of his, um, young man. He, and I'm not talking real young either. Um, I, I, you know, because this is, a he's, he's old enough to have, you, you know, at least one child that's, you know, somewhere around 20 ish. So not, not super young, at least I would say late thirties to early, early to mid forties. Um, so, so, and it's not like he didn't get to see my face that he didn't know who he was screwing over. You know, he, 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 he did it with a smile. Um, <laughs> You know, so, uh, when the car broke down again, oh my God, it was at the beginning of, shoot, I look at a calendar. I don't like to think about this stuff, um, cause it's overwhelming. Just, I've been going through so much that it's trying to keep a handle on it all is overwhelming. Um, so it's July. Okay. So, so I want to say is about beginning of June and, um, and then something very, went very wrong with the car and, um, I made it to work in the car that day, but I called from work and had, um, my main shop that I ha usually have most of my work done at come and get my car. Um, they, they had referred me over to the transmission place at co-transmission. Um, that was the place that screwed me over on the transmission work. Um, um, 
So when they get my car and they start looking at what's wrong and everything, it basically boiled down to a, the rebuild never happened. They did not rebuild my transmission like I paid them to. Um, because if they had, the part that went wrong wouldn't have, that, that, that malfunction wouldn't have been full of metal shavings from the transmission. Ha! Um, and two, there was a number of parts and bolts missing from my engine and, um, some things were zip tied into place. So on top of not doing the job I paid them for, um, they also stole parts off my vehicle. So, and what not. Um, yeah, so, and of course, living where I live, there's, no, uh, you know, it's, it's really super rural out here. There's no public transportation really available to me. Um, and I, I've heard about some stuff and I've tried to look into some stuff, but I can't, whatever this thing is they're talking about, I can't figure it out. I can't find it in the, 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 you, you know, listed in with the public transportation for, for Nevada. Um, but no, no, there's no public transportation out here and Uber and Lyft ain't coming out here. <laughs> and, uh, you can get a taxi to come here from Bullhead and take, and take you back into Bullhead, you know, pick you up and take you in. But one way is a hundred bucks. Um, so that's not like an affordable way to get back and forth to work, to spend $200 a day going back and forth when you ain't even going to make $200 in, <laughs> in <laughs> no, you're not. You're not. Oh, my Linda, not making 200, not even making 200. No, not even close. Um, but you know, so, but it, it's been rough. And you know, when it took about too much for brake masters to get my car fixed properly and and luckily you know I discovered that I can through through my job I can take a loan out against my 401k um and it's a lot less interest than most than your typical personal loan that you would apply for online through whatever company um because they really like to gouge you on the interest rate and and set you up with some ridiculous payment that's going to make you hurt. Um, where is this, you, you know, um, you, you know, I wouldn't call it a tiny interest rate, but con compared to what most um, loan companies might as well call them loan sharks are are charging you an interest yeah it's tech it's near tiny and then you know and then it just automatically comes out of my check a little bit at a time um so i wish i had discovered that sooner um <laughs> like like a few years ago that i could do that you know um but you know the whole time we've been here in nevada you, you know, we've, we've not gotten to do anything fun. We've not gotten to go see a show or anything. And, um, I got the car back and, um, despite how much time I lost from work, I still needed to, needed to use my vacation time, um, before my annual um, my, an my anniversary with my job, um, re-ups and I lose my vacation time for, you know, this, this work year for me and my new work year starts on August 4th and I'll get re-up and get addition and get vacation time for my next work year. But anything I didn't use from my prior work year is just lost. It's just gone. Um, so so I'm on vacation right now 
and I got the car back. I haven't had the car back very long, but um, I was like, before anything goes wrong, we're going to do something <laughs> fun because <laughs> we have just been struggling to survive, struggling to survive, struggling to survive. And, um, you know, and not, you know, really doing anything fun. Uh, <laughs> you know, there's a river over there with beach and we haven't been able to go swimming. Um, just haven't happened. Um, I think once when, after we first got moved into the house, Cherokee found out about a free river boat ride that they do on the river. And we did get to take advantage of that once when we first got moved into the house. Um, and that was like, <laughs> so and we've been in the house since 2018. Um, and it's, it's, 2024 <laughs> so it's been a few years since we've done anything fun and um you know but like i said I live, you know i'm at, i'm an hour from vegas and i've not seen one show um but today what we did was um we took we took a ride into oatman arizona that's about an hour from here just like vegas is an hour in the other direction and um we what the reason we went to oatman was one low cost um basically you know talk about a, a tank of gas and you know and you know uh, if you if there's a restaurant there, um, and there's um, shops, little what do you call those like trinket shops um, and whatnot, and um, you get to see wild donkeys up front, wild burros, um, <laughs> and. Uh, you know, cause they, and they sell feed for them, you know, like a bag of feed is like a dollar and whatnot. And, uh, and they even did a little, uh, show for us, uh, where some gentlemen pretended they were robbing the bank and, uh, <laughs> which it was fun. Um, you know, uh, the, no live ammunition, but definitely sounds in like a real gun and yeah and i believe the i believe the guns are technically real that they're using and whatnot but like i said no live ammunition um so or or anything that would hurt anybody no nothing that's gonna <laughs> damage anybody other than very being just as loud as a real you know it sounds like a real gunshot and yeah, it was, it was actually kind of hard for me to, uh, stand there and watch. Um, because I'm kind of trained that when you hear gunfire, you, you, you get the hell out of there. <laughs> um, so that was actually kind of hard for me, um, to, to, you know, even though I, I you know, it's, I, I know that nobody's it's, SWAT's not raiding the house behind me. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that happened when I was still living in Lorraine. So, uh, <laughs> but you know, so, 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 but, but it, even though it was short and sweet and, and over quickly, um, you know, it was still fun. It was fun. And, you know, and it's, and it's a nice little, kind of day getaway um because y you know you walk up one side of the street you know can stop in and visit all the little shops including a, a candy store you know um which we did <laughs> and then you come down the other side of the street and check out that uh, that stuff there and and you know uh got root beer floats <laughs> sat on a bench and ate those, you know, uh, uh, Cherokee was so excited. She was up at 4 a.m. Y'all, she was up at 4 a.m. this morning <laughs> and she came in my room. I'm not sure what time she came in the first time, but she came to get a water bottle and fill it up and put it in the fridge for me. And, and she came some 
or something else. She came in and out of my room a couple of times. And, 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 and fi finally I was just like, she was like, I want to leave by nine o'clock in the morning and come on. I'm <laughs> just like, and I'm just like, I'm not getting up till eight. <laughs> I'm not getting out of this bed till eight o'clock. Um, <laughs> but you know, I, I, and I, I didn't sleep all the way till eight. I, I got up uh, maybe about 10 to eight and hopped in the shower and, and whatnot and got dressed and, um, you know, made sure all the pets were taken care of, you know, and Mimi had a good outdoors out there break and all of that before we left. And, um, <laughs> you know, but, uh, you know, uh, I, I wish I had taken some video. Um, I, I'm not good at stuff like that or thinking to do stuff like that while I'm in the moment. Um, cause I'm too busy. I think just being observant of my surroundings, um, you know, you know, taking everything in around me and whatnot. And, uh, so, you know, but of course we left with, uh, 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 you, you know, you can't go into a place like that and not leave with a, with a few things. Um, the, we found earrings there. This is the pair I picked out for myself. Um, and then I found these for, found a couple of these for our hair. We didn't get too many. Um, but you know, so I thought those, those are cool. Yay. And, um, and, and I like coffee mugs. I like mugs. Um, it doesn't have to have coffee in it for me to like it though. <laughs> but, uh, and this one has got, well, it was ice water. Now it's just water cold. <laughs> but, uh, there it is y'all from Oatman, Arizona. Um, there, there, there had been a couple of other ones that I considered, um, there was one that had, it was, had a cute picture of a donkey on it, but it was about half the size of that one. And, uh, <laughs> and there was another one that size that had some pictures of donkeys, but it also included some people. And I don't want pictures of people I don't know on my coffee cup. <laughs> so, yeah. so that's what I got. And so I came home with, and, um, um, you know, we had a good time. We probably got there, I would say, somewhere between about 10, 30, 11 in the morning. And we left about 3 in the afternoon. Um, and by the time we were leaving, it was hot, y'all. Um, you know, the, the, the desert heat was, 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 was on full blast. It was 115 degrees out, <laughs> you know. And I guess I was would have probably been better if we'd gotten it maybe a little earlier, whatnot, but things really didn't because it's a weekday. Um, you know, things really didn't start there till about 10 AM anyway. Um, and, and if, unless you go on like Saturday and then things start at 8 AM, but I wasn't trying to brave like a Saturday that would be really packed with people. There were plenty of people just there as it was. Um, so yeah, it's, it was, it was, it was, it was fun and we, it was nice to have a good time. Um, took the opportunity on the way home, stop at the grocery store, pick up a few things, you, you know, and it was nice to do something that was fun. Um, you know, I, my hips are bad. So we, luckily there were plenty of benches around where I could sit when I needed to. Um, even though it wasn't like a lot of walking, but still, you know, it was like up a hill and, and whatnot. And, and some, there's a lot of unevenness to some areas as we were walking, but it was all right. And then you had to watch where you were stepping cause there's donkey poop. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, that's how it goes, but, um, we're surviving friends and family and, um, we love you and miss you. And we hope that your lives are full of peace, love, and happiness. Peace. <laughs>